Uh, my name is Baltasar Fernandez Manjón. I work at the Complutense University of Madrid, and I, and I am now currently involved in two European projects from the H2020 uh, line that are great for improving the serious game industry. I mean, and the knowledge transfer to the serious game industry in Europe, and I work also in the Beaconing project. So this is about breaking the, the barriers and trying to integrate uh, gamification and serious games into other different uh, environments, including physical and using different approaches such as problem-based learning. I think that learning analytics has made us understand better who people use the systems, the learning system. And it has been very successful when you have the full control from the system where the user are interacting, when you collect the data and you are analyzing, analyzing the data. So with the MOOCs revolution, we have learned that even with shallow data, we can learn a lot of what how people use the systems. I think that now we need to try something that has been done in the research center into a more systematic industry. That doesn't mean that we need more better software, let's say better application, that can be ready to use, that you don't need to develop from scratch. We think that open code there is very important, array of things, in rates we are creating assets that will be reused by people, that we are creating a learning analytics infrastructure that can be deployed. It's already open code, it's already on GitHub, so you can even begin now to try it. And this is one of the things thing that we need also standards. We need a way to standardize which data are you collecting so that it will be easier the exploitation and, the, and creating analysis and dashboard for actually using the data for different purposes, either real time for the teachers, either in a prescriptive way to discover what's happening, either for research for better understand how people learn and how people interact with our systems. We are in rate, we are providing support for experience API when collecting the data from serious games. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that we're trying to help people to deploy this learning analytics uh, aspect, creating infrastructure that already provide either in the trackers that we are creating for Unity 3D or also for, for JavaScript technologies. We are providing already support for experience API. We are also providing some other things such as anonymization and other things that are really important if we want to, to be able to use the data because there is a lot of problems with low protection data. I think that in five years time, things will be a little bit clearer. I mean, there will be a more clear policy in educational institutions about how to use the technology. This is something that now it's on, every institution has their own approach, mm -hmm. which is something that is hindering the full uh, benefit from the technology. And also there will be a far more clear ethics and regulation about how to use that data, who can, who can access that data, which are the, I mean, the accepted uh, uses of that data. But I think that the technology needs to be more mature. I think that open code is the way to go. I think Apereo uh, project is contributing and we are also trying to contribute to this aspect because it's really expensive to create everything from scratch. So we need to be community-based. We need to reuse the open software initiatives that are already there that can be reused to decrease the cost and also to create a, a more mature market. And this is something that we're trying to do in the serious game industry. We are trying to generalize the use of serious game in schools, um, which is our goal in five years time. <clears throat> it's a very difficult goal, but it will be to be able to formally prove that a game is effective mm -hmm. without needing to do the pre post tests and all the formal experiments that now are required. So this is our long-term goal, but it's very challenging.